good everyone my name is graphics today we want to treat an aspect of technical drawing which is what an involute now what is an involute an involute is a part traced out by a point on a straight line that rolls round a circle right that rolls round the point or rolls round a circle that's in an involute of a circle but the question we are treating now is we are told to what? To construct three quarter of a ton of an involute to a 50 millimeter diameter base circle. Now the base circle is a circle that is rolling on a straight line, right? So let us of all draw the circle. We are told it is what? 50 millimeter. So what I will do first of all, I'm going to draw my horizontal line this way I'll draw my horizontal line this way right and I'll also draw my vertical line this way I'll draw my vertical line this way right so this is the center of the point here and we are told it is that the circle is 50 millimeter diameter so half of 50 is 25 so if i take the 25 here from 0 to 2.5 25 i'll take it to the center and i'm going to draw my circle so this is my circle here i'll take in it now look at this very well now, this is my four point of the circle. I can easily say that from here to here is one quarter. Right? From here to here is another one quarter. From here to here another one quarter. From here to another one quarter. So we have four quarters in this circle here. Now, if I move from zero to there it is one quarter if i move from zero that means from zero to let me call it to be zero and i'll call it to be my 180 from zero to this point here one quarter right from zero to this point here if i travel from zero back to this point here it's called what two quarter if i travel from zero straight down to this point here i said to be what three quarter is that okay now so that means if i move from my second quadrant to my fourth quadrant that's what we call that is what we call three quarter zero to 270 this is zero degree 90 degree 180 degree then what 270 degree so that is my three quarter so this is where i'm going to start from right so this will be where I will start from, so I'm moving from zero to this point here, my 270 degree. Let me just put it that way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, this is my rolling circle. I mean, it's my base circle, right? Now I want to draw the circumference of the base circle. So this circle now, I will know the circle of a base circle is what the le the length. The circle of a base circle, that means the length of the base circle, is what is two pi r. So that means I'm going to measure, use my uh, measurement of saying 2 pi r. Now what is the pi r here? The r is the radio, which is what, 25. So if I use 2 pi r to be 2 times 3.142 multiplied by what, 25. So that will be the measurement that I am going to draw here. So first of all, I will draw my straight line this way from this point here. And I'll draw it right now I'm going to measure it so if I measure it we're calculating this um, 2 pi arrow 2 times 3.142 times 2 and 25 will give me it's going to give me 157.08 that will be what our length of circumference i mean the circumference of 
the base circle that is the length is that taking now i'm going to measure or if i don't want to go this way what will i do i'm going to divide this my circle into 12. so with the help of my compass if i take the radius of here and here right i take the radius of here and here i'm going to place it at this point i will mark up I'll come back to this point also I'll do the same thing I'll mark up I'll come to the center of this point here I'm going to do the same thing with the same radius I'll mark left and what and right so I'm having this point so those points now I'm going to pass it through the center of the circle so if I come to the center here this is the center here from this point I measure here I'll pass it through the center from this point I measure here I'll pass it through the center from this point also I'll pass it through the center from this point also I'll pass it through the center so I have successfully divided my circle into 12 right so I can easily just take any of these two division I can easily take any of these two division or any of these two division any of them at all these two division hmm? and I'll come to this point here zero I'll mark point one here also point two point three point four point five Point six, point seven, point eight, point nine, point ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is zero, this is one, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 12 points I have. Now, if you look at it very well, we are taking 3 quarter, right? So what I'm going, going to do now is that I'm going to draw from this point here now. I'll draw a tradition line the way I drew this until I'll stop at what? At 270 because 3 quarter of 360 I mean, if you the three quarter is what the third, the fourth quadrant here. This is from zero to this point is one. From here to here is two, and from here to here is what three. So I'm stopping here, right? So I'll do what I want to do. Since I've drawn this, um, if you notice this line here, it is at 90 degree to this point, right? So I'm going to do this. Let me zoom it out. And do this okay now see what I want to do now I'll come to this point I will zoom, I will gauge this my point to ensure that it is what 90 degree right so from here I'll get this to be 90 degree this is my first point All right I'll call it my one I'll call it my um, nine starting from nine All right I'll go to the next one I'll do the same thing another additional point I'll call it this will be eight point eight I come to the third one, I'll do the same thing. And this will be point seven. Right? I'll come to the next one, which is this. This is another line again, make it tangential. This is 
0.6 right I'll come to the next one to get 0.5 to get 0.5 So this is 5, go to the next one also, that will be, this is 4, no this is 5 here, this is 4, and then I will go to the next one which will be 3, this is 3, alright. Let me show you, I'll be 3, then the next one which is this point, this is 2, right, this is um, 9, this is 9, this point you are starting from is 9, this will be 8, this will be 7, this will be six this will be five this will be four this will be three this will be two this will be one then this last one was zero so you must stop at that quarter which is zero can you see now this mean line you are starting is your first point nine eight seven six five four three two one zero now what will you do now let me show you let me take it back. Let me take it back. Now, I will move from this is zero, Abby. Point zero. I'm starting from here. Point zero. Right. I'll move from zero to one at this line here. I'll come to point one. I'll mark. So that is my one here. I'll move from zero to two. From zero to two. I'll come to two here. Point two. Can you see? I'm going to mark here. That is two. These are my locus. I want to form. From zero to three. I'll come to point three here. I'll mark on three. Right? From zero to four. That is this four here. I'll come to point four. I'm going to cut. That's my point four here. From zero to five here. Zero to five. I'll come to 5, I'll mark in my point 5, this point 5 here, right, so show you point 5, that is point 5, from 0 to 6, I'll come to 6, this 6 here, I'll mark here, I'll be my point 6 from this 6 here, this point is six. Then I move from zero to seven. From zero to seven, I'll come to point seven, which is this here. I'm going to mark my point seven. So let me extend this back. It's not long enough. So from zero to seven. I'll mark on my seven, right? So from zero to eight, I move from zero to eight. I'll place it on my eight here. I'll mark at this point here. My eight is at this point here. So let me extend it to that point, right? Let me extend it. From zero to eight. Then from nine, this is where my nine stop. At this point here, this is the nine here. So what I will simply do, I will use my French curve, and I'm going to join those locus, those points together. 
with my French club and this is how I'll go about it. So you are going to join other points. This is the point you join. Let me reduce the size. So I'm reducing the size. So this is what we have here. Right? So let's join it and see how it goes. All this point is what we are to join. Using your you can use your French cuff to join or you can simply use your pair of compass. If I move from zero to nine, I'm going to join. Right? Then if I move from eight to seven. Right, I'll move from seven to six. Then from six to four. Then from five to three. From five to four, from four to three, then from three to two, you gauge it, you have to be very accurate. From two to one. Then back to that guy. Or simply, you can just use your French cuff to join everything that you want to join. You use your French cuff to join all those points. Your French cuff will do the trick. That is what we are we have. So this is the involute of a circle. So this is the involute of what? Three quarter of a ton of an involute to a 50 millimeter diameter base circle. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.